Hello and welcome to another edition of City News Daily on City TV. My name is Farida Shaibu. Coming up in this edition, Minority predicts that Ghana may return to HEPIC in the next two years. We have details of that story and more. Stay with us. So the minority in parliament has chastised government's management of the economy and it says the rising public debt stock could lead Ghana into HEPIC by close of 2019. According to the minority spokesperson on finance, Kesel Atoforsen, contrary to what the MPP promised in opposition, government has done virtually nothing to keep its promise of holding the country's debt stock in check. Speaking at the Minority Pre-Budget Economic Assessment Forum, Kesel Atoforsen indicated that the country's debt-to-GDP ratio has hit over 76%. On Wednesday, Finance Minister Ken Oforiata is expected to present the 2018 budget, but Mr. Forsen further alleges that the country is likely to be hit by severe economic challenges similar to what the country experienced in 1983, and he says this is due to insensitive economic policies by the Akufuado government. President Ekufuado today launched the national sanitation campaign with a firm commitment to ensure that attitudes to issues of sanitation are changed for the better. Now he's therefore courting the cooperation of all and sundry to ensure the success of the campaign. The campaign is expected to last for five years and it will be spearheaded by the Ministry of Water Resources and Sanitation with support from UNICEF and the World Bank. Speaking at the launch in Accra, President Kufuado bemoaned the negative effects of bad sanitation practices on the health and economic growth of the people. Now let's do some business. Um, the second largest telecom operator in Ghana today rebranded as Airtel Tigo following a merger between the two entities. The announcement comes weeks after the official approval by the National Communications Authority, NTA. Well, Airtel Tigo will now control 22% market share of the telecom industry in Ghana. The merger will also see both companies hold equal ownership and governance rights in the combined entity the CEO of Airtel Tigo, Madame Roshi Mortiman, speaking to the workers after announcing the new brand name, also announced the new executive members of the company. Now let's go to the courts because businessman Alfred Agbeshi Woyome has filed a new suit at the Supreme Court seeking to halt all processes intended to retrieve the 51 million Ghana cities judgment debt wrongfully paid him. This is the sixth application he has filed since the beginning of his oral examination by the Attorney General. Now, Mr. Woyome is praying the court to put on hold all processes to reclaim the money from him until a determination of another related case being heard at the African court. Meanwhile, Mr. Woyome, who was expected to continue with the oral examination on how he intends to repay the judgment debt, did not show up in court today, claiming he is unwell. So finally, last Sunday, that is just yesterday, CTFM staff rounded up the station's 13th anniversary celebration by joining the Powerhouse Ministries International Church at Choco here in the Greater Accra region for a Thanksgiving service. The service was spiced up with music from the Powerhouse Ministries choir and made a warm reception from the church's congregants. The head pastor of the church, Reverend Bernard Ade Aqua, commended CDFM for setting itself apart from the rest in the media landscape and also for putting government on its toes. He prayed for the station, the staff and the management and urged them to continue to impact the Ghanaian society much more in the coming years. And that's how we end today's edition of City News Daily on City TV. My name is Farida Shaibu. Join us again tomorrow. Thanks for watching.